And of course, now we're locked and loaded here for NBA and hockey. And as far as Mindy's Super Bowl spread is concerned, Tony, uh, I think I had a winner there. I took the over. Took the <laughs> over there, right? <laughs> yes, over, 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 over. No doubt about that. All right, Ramon. I, although we were waiting for your picture on your lasagna. We wanted to see how that came out. Oh, boy. I think I'm still feeling it. Still feeling A lot of leftovers? No time you ate the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to have that for lunch, I'm thinking. <laughs> there you go, lunch. All right, there you go. All right, uh, let's hope LeBron, uh, you know, <laughs> watched his calorie intake on that Super Bowl yesterday. I uh, hope he's not too uh, jet-like flying back and forth, you know, on that on that day off. Usually those days off are practice and you're just trying to recoup. But, again, he hadn't, he didn't play, right? didn't play, so who knows. But I guess uh, we'll see how this rolls tonight here. They got the job done against the Warriors. They're in it against the Trailblazers. This is always a tough spot for the Lakers to play in this arena. The Lakers favored here, laying the point in half, total 238. You know, Le LeBron adjusting his crown as he got booed at the Super Bowl. The NBA's all-time leading scorer, not a favorite with fans from uh, Philadelphia and Kansas City or, I don't know, Arizona maybe, but he got booed at the Super Bowl. He's missed two straight games. And, Tony, like you like to point out, what, leak one video of a shoot-around and, boom, here goes the spread. You take a look at what you see there on screen now. Take a look at your on screen, Tony. Lakers are up to a two, two-and-a-half point favorite. Video surfaces about, oh, 15 or 20 minutes ago, uh, maybe even a half hour now. LeBron at shoot-around today, making a free throw. So uh, that sent uh, books into a frenzy. The Lakers are now uh, two, two-and-a-half point favorite in this total now approaching 239 or higher here. So looks like LeBron could be a go here with his questionable status. Uh, after we saw him make that free throw, AD was there at the shoot-around as well. He'll be in tonight in this one. Yeah, it's definitely a Portland and under type of situation when it comes to series history, but Portland right now, they're not doing much defensively in this little bad run they're on where they've gone 0-3-1 and in the last four games. They gave up 138 in that. I was joking about it today at the, on the morning show, Tony, that OKC, they'll sneak up on you so fast, put up a big number. You think you got the game won, you lost by 10 points. OKC scored 138 on Portland last time out. They gave up 122 to Golden State. Gave 127 to Milwaukee, 129 to Chicago. Not looking good right now for Portland defensively. Uh, you know, Lillard will be in there. When Lillard's in there, the scores are definitely higher, whether it's his strong offense or a pace of the game defensively, whatever. The scores seem to be a little bit higher when Lillard is in the lineup. Uh, Portland in uh, conference play averaging 118 and allowing 116, so it'll be on the Lakers here. These two teams close in the standings, Tony. You keep alluding to uh, what's going on down there at the you know 12, 13 area. Here it is, Portland 27 and 29, Lakers 26 and 31, right behind Portland in the standings. But the Lakers have been no better. They've lost four of their last five and. Like I said, LeBron missed a couple of games. The uh, Lakers have gone 17 and 13 to the over on the road. Portland over in, uh, as I mentioned, four of their last five, those high scoring games that they did not win or cover. Uh, also, Portland 17 and 10 to the over at home, including five and two to the over in their last seven at home. So, Lakers. 27th defensively, allowing 118 points per game. They've made their changes. I think their changes for the better. I'm not sure it'll be that that will be the case tonight, despite the shift in favor. Mindy and I are on Portland here. And LeBron's status is not going to affect my philosophy in this game. I think the Lakers are still looking to mesh a little bit here, but. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, he was meant to be a Laker, the former number two pick of the Lakers. Looked good uh, so far with L.A., and I think he can have a good game tonight, certainly in that matchup. Uh, Schroeder, we'll see. You know, he's the one that looked like, now granted, LeBron wasn't in there, but maybe he's the one that will benefit from this new lineup. His production was up dramatically. I think 
uh, one of your favorites, Tony Rui Hachimura. He'll be strong in this matchup, and with no Nurkic, I think AD can look to roam pretty strong. Uh, not to mention the other additions, Tony of Vanderbilt and Beasley. Vanderbilt, you know, he's a strong guy in there, and Beasley might fit in well with the Lakers as well. I like this new lineup. I think this is a big improvement. Criticize the Lakers a lot, uh, you know, especially for, well, maybe their poor lineup construction this year, uh, poor general managing, but it looks like they've got something here. I'm going to give them a, 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 at least a passing grade at this point to see what happens moving forward. Meanwhile, Portland, they've gone over 120 points in 20 games this season. Uh, I do love Dame's matchup, certainly, in this one. Cam Reddish, also a good matchup. Drew Eubanks, <laughs> definitely a nice player who can definitely score, I would think, in this one. A uh, couple injury notes for Portland, though. Jeremy Grant's still going to be out. I think that one just came out. And uh, uh, looks like Knox, probable. Uh, joining the joining the Blazers here, so I'm going to go over in this one, Tony. I'm still scared on some of these, putting them on the premiums. These high totals that I like over seem to bite me. I'm going to try it here on the on the show tonight. We've already seen pressure within the last 30 to 40 minutes on the over with the uh, video of James making a free throw. <laughs> Let's go Lakers and over is what he's what the fans are saying. I'll go over tonight, Lakers and Blazers, even though I, Mindy and I are on the Blazers with the morning show, and I think we're going to keep it that way, especially now. Uh, we late, we were willing to lay two points, and now we're getting two and a half points. All right, Ramon here on Lakers Trailblazers over 238. Do your shopping that this line can, is moving here based on the LeBron video. We'll see how, we, how this one works as we get closer to game time, 10 Eastern time, start time. And, of course, when you look at Portland at home, it's offense, offense, offense. They just play fast. You, know, you take a look at Portland over. Uh, they have won 6 of 11 at home. And they've had a lot of home games uh, at home here. 11 of their past 15 at home here. Uh, they're shooting the ball well in this uh, over the past uh, 11 at home. Uh, 51%. Uh, but the issues here is, is the fact that they're scoring and giving up about 125 points per 100 possessions. And that's the kicker here is that they're scoring a lot and they're giving up a lot of points at home. Well, most definitely. And again, you mentioned it. The series history has been you know, kind of blazers and under. But right now the philosophy seems to be a little bit different in Portland. There could be some pressure here. These two teams got to feel like this is an important game. I think that's the thing about LeBron, right? We know that while LeBron's, uh, you know, on that injured list every game, it's pick your spot type of philosophy at this point, which games to play and which to not. Coming off rest, this is a game you got to play and you need – especially a road game. Lakers need this one. You've talked about, Tony, time and time again right now, the pressure the Lakers are under uh, just to try to get in. The time is now to start, uh, no later for sure, especially when you're five games under 500 and you got the team, uh, you know, right above you in your sights tonight. Uh, again, I don't like the spot for the Lakers. I do like their new additions to the lineup. I think they'll be able to uh, make that run, get in there, but – I don't know if it starts necessarily tonight with this matchup. Yeah, the sixth seed is also within reach. Don't forget that. And that's something they can continue because yeah, it's, it's all bunched up. You know, they're all bunched up. So if you can get that week off if you get if you can avoid that playing round. I, I mean again, again, I, I, I credit Anthony Davis. You know, he he was all game face. I know LeBron broke broke the uh, scoring record, but it was all game face. He wanted to, and of course you were upset. They had to have the game, and of course the coaching staff did not put that importance in the team there in that OKC game. One of the probably the most disappointing loss of the season in my book. Uh, because that's a team you're trying to get ahead of. Again, these games are very important, the Western Conference. If you can get the sixth seed, you can avoid that play-in mess and get a week off. I think, I don't understand, I mean, that should be kind of be the, be the message to these players. I just don't understand why there isn't that type of sense of urgency at this point when there's 20. You know, again, some folks do the math. The, the all-star break is not the halfway point. <laughs> when you come off the, half, the all-star break, uh, you're going to have, what, 22 to 23 games remaining. Yeah, time is now... For the Lakers again, I think this this personnel is a good move. Uh, yeah, LeBron's kids didn't want to see Russ leave, but you know, come on, it's not working out with Russ in there. It's like uh, when Russ is it was in there, you were like, this is a you know, this is a throwaway game. It just felt like 
you know, he had a few moments here or there, but uh, it wasn't going to work out. And now it looks like they have more a more serious uh, lineup to me moving forward. So that's the way I'm going to approach it here. Portland, I'm not sure they have enough defense to compete. Uh, Lakers, obviously, you know, when you have LeBron, uh, you might be able to drum up some defense for some, uh, you know, a playoff appearance. No deep run. I can't see anything happening with this uh, with this team. Maybe it's a wide open West. Those other teams still have to prove themselves, Tony. Uh, to me, Denver seems like the team atop uh, what's going on uh, consistency wise. Uh, even even though we criticize them on the road, they have shown up some important. A road game so uh, with Phoenix Dallas you know prove it to me first uh, everyone still in the West has to think they have a chance uh, uh, you know the East not so much all right we got Ramon here in this one on the uh, Lakers Triple H is over 238 this one will have a start time here this is late night game here at 10 Eastern time or right, Ramon let's take a look over at Tony'sPix.com where we put up fantastic numbers here 2200 in 81 units of profit last seven days that is all documented over at tonyswix.com so if you go to ramon's handicapper page and you go down to pick history you'll be able to see every play that he's released here on the site all the documentation is here on the site for you all right tonight we do have an 11 game card here from the nba we got a few hockey uh, we do have quite a few from college hoops a lot of the smaller conferences in action still a couple of three three uh, big conference schools uh matchups as well what do you have going on over at tony's picks Tony, starting the night out with a three-pack in college basketball. If you take a look at the record that I put up there over the last, like you said, last 30 days through this year now in the profit, most of my work has come, the good work in college basketball, and quite frankly, it's come on the extra board, specifically with games from the MEAC, from the SWAC, this Monday night schedule heavy in where I've excelled. So I have to feel good about this card. It's a three pack right now. I think there's some line movement coming my way that may put me on some more of these uh, extra board games. I know it's tough, uh, you know, when uh, your subscribers want to be involved in the big uh, game. You know, tonight you have the two Big 12 games. You got the ACC game. We know we just want to go where the money is, and where I'm feeling comfortable is a lot of these extra board games. I feel like these two conferences are right now the most predictable conferences going. I have a three pack right now in the on the extra board, and I may come with a little more later. I thought the plays that we had on the morning steam were pretty solid. Check those out. Mindy and I are in consensus on a couple of games on the main board. So check out that. We have 10 plays that we agreed on on the Morning Steam show. Those are all our premium consensus plays. So check out the show. Check out the videos from the game. Also tonight, Tony, in the NBA, a three-pack in the uh, NBA basketball, and they're all in the earlier starts, so I might be looking to come in with something late. Mindy and I were in agreement on a couple of games there in the NBA as well, uh, four games, I believe. So check out the show, check out the videos from the NBA on Monday night. We're back in action with a huge card. So I've got a three pack right now. That's $30 as well over at tonyspicks.com. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout. That'll save you 20 percent off all of our premium pick packages including those you see on the screen there so hockey mindy and i were in agreement on uh three games out of the five so that could be it for my action maybe i could put one in there as a best bet or something uh but uh we already gave out some plays i know i might like the kings tony boy they look Good. The other night against Pittsburgh, I know Pittsburgh was on a back-to-back, -back, but that was about as good as the Kings have looked all season uh, right there. Those Kings could uh, win a playoff series or two that I saw the other night. So not sure about the uh, NHL tonight. Pretty sure about those three games that Mindy and I are on, 10-game card. Check out the videos over there at Tony'sPicks.com YouTube channel on the Morning Steam Show. So those two packs right now, Tony, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm – I'm back. I don't know. I, would, I, I didn't go anywhere, but found my way to the top of the leaderboards here in uh, no time flat, as uh, usually happens with me. I'll tread water a little while, and uh, you can see right back just after a, a short winning streak, a strong winning streak, no doubt, over the last uh, several days, but immediately put me back up onto the uh, yearly profit. So you can see I was really just 
uh, right there. And a strong winning streak has me in the profit for the year. So no problem there. We'll keep it going tonight. Six pack of winners and more more coming, I do believe, for this exciting card. That's right, guys. Get on board with Ramon Scott over at Tony'sPicks.com. You see the results here. They've been outstanding for Ramon, so get on board here. Ramon Scott over at Tony's Picks uh, right now on the site. Monday night NBA three-pack on the board. Of course, these individual these, uh, one-day passes are profit guaranteed. Must turn a profit and the amount you purchase is credit back in your account for site credits. That is profit guarantee. Also in with the college basketball three-pack. So get on board with Ramon Scott at Tony'sPicks.com. You may also consider the longer-term passes. Uh, uh, the the seven day pass is a great one here to get here on a on a Monday. Get all of Ramon's pre and plays here for seven days. Include all his NBA, college hoops, hockey there for seven days. <clears throat> also included in that seven day pass are any late steam releases that Ramon may release. Uh, many of the cappers can do that. Uh, what, what is a late steam play? Well, usually the cappers got to have their members plays in by 11 a.m. Eastern time, but they're also allowed to post plays into the system between 10 minutes and two hours before game time. Those will be flagged and, and, and documented as late steam plays. You may see the green on the site for late steam. Uh, those plays, when you get the long-term pass, uh, the, the packages that are in yellow, those all, those will include all late steam releases. And the way you receive those is by email. The email that you use to sign up for the package, that play is emailed directly to your inbox any play that is released between 10 minutes to two hours before game time, that's the late steam. You always check the members area by, by 11 a.m. each time for the members picks. But anything Ramon may see late in the day, uh, may, may look at a game a second or third time, maybe a situation with an injury or a line move, uh, you, you get it there with Ramon with the late steam. So that seven-day pass, a very valuable offer right now. So get on board with it. And we, as we said, we can save you 20% um, off that seven-day pass right now. Uh, it will it will save you uh, thirty dollars when you use that promo code Tony T at checkout. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link you see in the description. Click the All Cappers tab, and then you'll land up right here on Ramon's page and go ahead and get signed up as you can see here for that long term pass. All right, Ramon, we also put together a Twitter account for you over at Tony Speaks Ramon with Twitter accounts. You also have plays up on the site here uh, on on the on the on our premium on our uh, premium page as with the leaderboard video, a sponsored video. Click on the home page, and of course. Uh, the morning steam concluded another show today yeah tony and thanks for mentioning that uh, late steam feature that we have i think i'm the leader in that category certainly and uh i'm socially mr steam i guess but uh hey i'm mr reverse line movement too sometimes i like to fade the steam now and then but when we talk about late steam on our site coming in with those late plays and just to note uh, i know it's extra work for you when you get that late action uh, but you know you're you're a player that's looking to profit we're not uh, fooling around here uh, just you know lock you into a couple of plays i mean i'm a high volume player and my late steam plays over the last seven days are coming in uh, tony really just dissectable on our site just checking it out right now because i knew i've been pretty strong uh, 16 and 6 over the last seven days with my plays that come in uh, within the last two hours before uh, tip off so that's uh, almost a thousand units right there. So, yeah, Tony, I got social media play uh, tonight as well as plays up on the site uh, uh, embedded here. My embedded plays include the sponsor video coming to you in the game between Alcorn State and Florida A&M. There you see it there. Close your eyes, make a pick. You might be right. Actually, I'm sure that if uh, the folks at IDS are paying attention, they've seen that been pretty strong on that play actually and also my leaderboard video where I got to humbly talk about myself again uh, uh, for another day here Tony as I sit atop a couple of the leaderboards currently I have the game between Alabama State and Mississippi Valley State note the start time here this one uh, might be listed in your rotation as a, a three o'clock game but this one's actually been moved to 5:30 again uh, uh, those conferences often have time changes uh, going on, and all those games are going off probably around 8 or 8.30 Eastern time. So, uh, yep, and my uh, social media video as well up on the site, Tony. Uh, that's coming to you in another college basket. You pick that one up at Tony's Picks Ramon on uh, Twitter. You get a play from me every weekday over there, and today's 
uh, tonight's game is going to come to you in the game between Texas Southern and Southern. So tried to talk myself up a little bit, Tony, because it's fact. If you go back and look at a lot of the results, uh, these two conferences are some that I've made some damage in. So I've given you uh, some free plays, too, uh, in those conferences. Hopefully my uh, good run continues in those conferences, but uh, basically three Free plays if you count the social media video, the, uh, and the social media play on Twitter, and the two uh, embedded videos on Tony's picks. Uh, so not only the three pack of winners with the premium plays from uh, the added board, but also the three from the videos and the social media give you a little taste or to add, as I like to say to your uh, these free these are legit, Tony. I mean these plays that we give out on these shows. We don't want to lose these. In fact, uh, to a certain extent, they're almost more important to our success. Uh, like I was saying about the Super Bowl, right? Uh, hey, everyone has their own opinion on the Super Bowl, so get on your video, make your pick. You want to be right uh, on the video. We, Minnie and I didn't have the total right, but we were happy that we were. We took the Chiefs. Uh, you know, it wasn't an overwhelming game, Tony, but I thought it was great. When you got a game that's 35 to 35 with two minutes left, you've had a pretty good Super Bowl despite the fizzle there at the at the finish. Uh, kind of hooked it like a like a Gronk field goal. Yeah, when you have about nine touchdowns, there's going to be a same excitement there, right? <laughs> now there'll be a couple of fluky ones yeah, in there, but you're gonna, half of them will be fine, you know. So it was a it was an exciting Super Bowl to watch. And of course, guys, so yeah, Ramon over at Tony's Picks Ramon there. You can, you'll find uh, his Twitter play. Also, he does moderate the uh, Discord, and don't forget to click the link in the in the chat. Get to the Discord. The conversation continues there, and of course. Uh, a lot of uh, great uh, con contributors here that you see in the chat. Uh, you'll see a lot of our, our, our chat, the folks in the chat contribute with plays there with their um, uh, props and their picks going on. So keep an eye on there. Ramon also contributing as well, keeping that conversation going. Man, Tony, the, Lindy and I discussed it after the show today, uh, a little Super Bowl, uh, you know, post-Super Bowl discussion. And uh, we've, come, we've concluded that the stars of the morning show are the chat. Uh, we thought this would be Mindy is and I's ticket to fame to latch on to Tony's YouTube channel. He's got 37,000 subscribers and growing by the month. But uh, no, it's, our, it's, the, it's the chat that's the stars. And that's the way it should be. They get their plays on there. Um, we kind of see which guys look we're going to be monitoring this pretty soon everyone's going to want to enter their picks so we can kind of go over the standings a little bit as part of a feature on the morning steam and stuff like that but you can already see uh, the crew that knows what they're doing in there kind of makes it tough on me Tony I, I'm ready to go with my pick waiting for Mindy to give her pick and then I see the chat come up, and we're not on the same side all the time. But that's sports betting. We're not always going to be on the same side all the time. But uh, it does, <laughs> does influence me on the spot sometimes, and I you know, get stunned. And I'm, you know, didn't, don't want to make the wrong call and go against the chat. But I just stick to my guns. Uh, chat certainly has uh, been able to have some good picks as well with us. When we see those chat viewers agreeing with us that really gives us some confidence and that seemed to be happening today whereas uh maybe in the last couple of days where uh, mindy and i we didn't have uh, as good a streak kind of interrupted our winning streak but today there did seem to be more consensus from the chat than those days so uh, maybe the chat was right and we were off a little bit maybe we're back on tonight go back and check out some of those videos of your favorite game and see what we're on again every call every pro game every hockey game will have at least one pick on our chopped up videos on the Tony's Picks YouTube channel and of course uh, 10 of them tonight Mindy and I agree on that one pick and that's our premium consensus which we're proud to say also in the green this year still despite a little bit of a, a rut here in the last couple of couple of shows we're still in the profit zone this year yep in the profit zone guys so check it out uh, Ramon Tony's Picks Ramon the morning steam uh um, Saturday through Thursday here on our YouTube channel at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So guys, make sure you subscribe. So when Rona and Mindy on, you're out there with them live. You get the plays in real time, get the best numbers, and contribute in real time to the show because your 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 comments are uh, dis uh, displayed. Also a part of the conversation there in in the uh, sh on the show. But you got to watch it live. I know some of you get behind a little bit, but just watch it live. Go back and re re watch what you missed. But on the live. 
Uh, it's really like those comments coming in because it's pertinent to the game that they're covering. All right, Ramon, it's always great having your show. Continue that success. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow. All right. Thanks a lot, Tony. We'll see what happens. You know, next year the NFL has got two good games they can choose from. They've got a re they could go with a rematch on the Super Bowl on opening Thursday night, actually, or Bills and Chiefs also available. I'm pretty sure the schedule maker is going to choose one of those two games to kick off the season. Yep, they sure will. Bengals Chiefs, I think, is also an option out there too, right? So there's a lot. There's a lot they can choose from. The division leaders will play each other, right? From from all division leaders will play. Uh, so we'll see how that rolls. Maybe we can, we'll see. it all depends really what happens in the off season. You know, who, where, 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 where these quarterbacks may land, but we'll check it out. All right, Ramon, have a so great afternoon. Ramon here, Scott here 